What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started with the video, I'm just gonna address the elephant in the room. My hair, I actually really love it. Like I look like a mom and I didn't want it to be too short where I can't style it or anything. So I just cut it like right up to here. Also, I know you guys saw the new intro. One of my followers made it for me. So thank you, I love it so much. If you guys have any edits or videos of me, just send them to me up through Instagram or tag me on your Instagram posts. So anyways, moving on to today's video. Today is going to be my updated makeup routine. Yes, so a lot of you guys have been asking me on my comments on YouTube and on TikTok, what is my makeup routine? So I decided to film it for you guys today and I hope you guys enjoy it. To start off, I'm going to be using translucent powder all over my face. I've seen this trend on TikTok and it really does work. It makes my makeup look a lot smoother. And now we're gonna go in with some setting spray. This one is from Revolution and we're just gonna set all that translucent powder that's on our face. And here we have the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I know a lot of you guys don't believe in primer, but I swear to you guys, this one really works. Now on to foundation. I use the Milani 2-in-1 foundation in the shade 5A. I use this foundation religiously. I've been using it since middle school. That's how you know this stuff is really good. And everyone asks me how do I make my makeup stay on for so long even when I sweat. And the secret is this foundation right here. Now I'm just going to be spraying my sponge to prepare it for the foundation. This sponge is from Morphe and it was very cheap. I think it was like six or eight dollars. Moving on to concealer, I use this e.l.f. Camo Concealer and this stuff is really good but not if you have dry skin. And here I am doing two ways of how to apply concealer. The side on the left is how like Instagram shows you how to apply concealer and the right side is where you need it the most, where you want to highlight and I'm going to show you guys the difference. So right here, I'm just showing you that the right side is good and the left side, it's not bad, but it's just a lot of makeup and a lot more layers. So when you see when I blend it out, it will be such a light concealer under my eye. And on the right side, it will be more blended into the skin. Now I'm just going to be setting that concealer with the same translucent powder that we used from Revolution. The next step is cream contouring, so I'm going to be using this contour stick from Wet n Wild and this brush from e.l.f. It's a buffing brush and I'm going to be carving out where I want to contour, just do a little layout. And a tip for you guys is to leave that space where that um concealer line is and where your eyebrow is just so you can have a lifted look now we're going to be buffing out that contour in little diving motions and you don't want to press too hard on the brush or else you will take off your foundation and it should look something like the left side compared to the right side and just keep on blending Now 
Now we are ready to fully set our face, so I'm going to be carving out the nose contour to make it look slimmer. And we are also going to be resetting under our eyes. and below the contour. We're also going to set our forehead because we get oily up there, it is what it is. And our smile line. Now we are going to be curling our lashes. This lash color is from CVS. It's so cute. It's all bejeweled and stuff. And this mascara, it is literally from the Dollar Tree, not gonna lie. But this mascara is pretty good. I have straight lashes and it can never stay curled. So I honestly just use whatever mascara. Moving on to eyeshadow, I use the Morphe 350 palette and I just use one shade whenever I do an everyday simple makeup look and that's the shade right there and I just put it all over my eyelid. Now my favorite part is lashes. These are from the Bold Face Makeup and the Style Alter Ego. And now we're going to be tight lining our eyes with the black liner from Rimmel London. Now I'm going to be dusting away the translucent powder with the MAC Studio Fix Powder. And I'm going to be using the Real Techniques brush for this. This is so we won't have any flashback in pictures. This powder is really good for that. Just make sure that you get your skin tone color. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Revolution bronzer and the big fluffy brush and I'm just going to be placing that where we put our cream contour. And now I'm going to be carving out my nose contour one more time just because we put more bronzer on top of it. And now I'm going to be putting on some blush. This is from Love and Beauty. It is such a broken blush palette, but it's all right. It still works. To set our face, I'm going to be using the Revolution Setting Spray again. I really love this spray. It is very inexpensive and you can get it from Ulta. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills collaboration with M. Reezy Highlighter. It is high-end, which means that it is expensive. So a drugstore alternative that I use is the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in like the gold shade. So you can always use that one instead. So 
once we're done with our face, I'm just going to be using the setting spray one last time to set our whole face. For lips, I just use a lip liner and a gloss. The lip liner is from Morphe in the shade Sugar Pie, and the gloss is from your local beauty supply store. You can get it anywhere, and I just outline my lips and fill it in with gloss. And I don't know if it's just me, <laughs> but these glosses, like, sometimes they smell after a while, so I don't know what that is. Anyways, we're going to be removing the makeup off of my nose piercing. This is just how I do it. So now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to put in colored contacts. So make sure you have your hand sanitizer to make sure your hands are all clean. Let's just get it everywhere. Now I'm going to be using these contacts from TTDI and these are in the color Queen Blue. They also come with some tools, but I like to use my hands. So what I've learned when putting on colored contacts is make sure your finger is dry and make sure there's no like fuzzies on it. And then put the contact on your finger like this and then <laughs> this part is kind of scary so you're gonna open your eye with the middle finger and then the middle finger right here and look straight and then blink around so I'm gonna put this one on off camera because for some reason this side is harder for me also make sure you have tissues because my eyes water for some reason probably because i don't wear contacts unless i wear color contacts so i'm gonna be right back so this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up down below if you did and comment down below which video ideas you want to see next and i'll see you guys in my next video